If you guys might be thinking which waifu to use currently on this meta in One Piece Bounty Rush, then this video is for you. So coming up next, top 10 waifus in One Piece Bounty Rush. This is not on hotness or same basis, this is on the basis of strongest waifus in One Piece Bounty Rush. One thing I just want to clear before starting this top 10 waifu tier list. This is just an opinion, so opinions can be different for different people. So if you guys don't like this tier list or if you guys think that some waifus should be on this top 10 tier list or some waifus places should be swapped on this video, you can just tell me on the comment section so we can consider that for the next time. Let's get started. Starting a countdown on number 10, Land of Wano Orovi. Green runner with decent skill 1 and skill 2. Some people would be thinking that she should be higher on top 10 tier list of waifus and others would be thinking that she shouldn't be on top 10 list. But she is on the top 10 list cause on tons of treasures she is really good. Plus when she takes the flag, she left the clone on that flag and goes forward to the other flags. That clone helps to fill the treasure gauge plus it attacks the enemy with skill 1. That clone be on the treasure area for some time only and after that or after some hits he get disappeared. When the clone is in the treasure area the enemy can't take the treasure area without attacking that clone or without getting damaged by that clone by skill 1 of Orobi. Plus when attacking an enemy with skill 1 she deals damage with 30% and knockback distance by 50%. She heals by 15% when capturing the treasure and increased stream boost gauge by 5%. Plus, if you are losing with flag, she boosts the cooldown reduction speed of skill 1 by 50%. That's why she is on our top 10 tier list on strongest waifus. Coming in at number 9, Big Mom Pirate Screwmate Charlotte Pudding. Both skills are good, both skills stops the enemy. Skill 1 inflict the enemy with edit that symbolizes corrected and its status effect is removed after a set period of time or after down or knocked back by the enemy. Skill 2 is also good that primers the enemy. And when using this skill, you can even dodge the enemy's skills or attacks. When she uses skill 1, increase the cooldown time of the enemy's skills by 30%. Plus, she can able to move during a normal attack. We don't have many characters that can do that. Plus, you can attack the enemy from a distance. Those normal attacks are always good. When you are in your enemy's treasure area, increase damage by 30% to enemies. When your strength is more than 70%, normal attack damage will be increased by 50% and reduce damage received by 30%. Attacking an enemy with skill 2 recovers HP by 15%. When you are down, reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 by 15%. Plus, her boost rate is increased critical damage deed by 20%. So, you can use the medals you use on Zoro or Red Sabo. She's really good in this meta, just really underrated. If she had more damage on both her skills, she would be on higher rank on this trial list. In the number 8 spot, Red Defender Monet, another character that can attack the enemy from a distance. Both skills are good, especially the skill 1 that can make a snow wall that stops the enemy from hitting her and even freezes the enemy if the enemy is close to the snow wall. The shield gets disappear after getting a certain damage or after some time. On the other hand, skill 2 is a long range area attack that you can use when the enemy is freezed or doesn't have the perfect dodge. When you are in your trait area, reduce damage received by 40% and you can inflict self with steady recovery. When attacked by an enemy, 5% chance to inflict freeze for 6 seconds, newly fire freeze, plus area around your capture treasure, reduce damage received by 30%. So if you make a shield on your capture treasure area, reduce damage received by 70%. If you damage 5 times in 10 seconds, defense boosted by 30% for 10 seconds, area around your capture treasure, boost the cooldown reduction speed of skill to by 50%. Attacked by an enemy, 100% chance to reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 5%. So she is on our number 8 spot, really good and tanky defender. If this skill 2 could have given more damage, she would be higher rank on our tier list. Coming in at number 7, Ghost Princess Perona. Both her skills are good that inflict enemies with negative. Both skills can pass through few objects. These skills can pass through few shields of the enemy character also. Skill 1 that keep on rotating around the Ghost Princess Perona. If it touches the enemy, enemy gets inflicted by negative for few seconds. The enemy speed will also be debuff. The second skill negative ghost is kind of better that follows the enemy and have the same effect but more than few seconds. She is also able to move during her normal attacks. Area around your capture treasure reduce damage received by 30% plus boost the cooldown reduction speed of skill 2 by 50%. When enemies are inflicted with negative defense boost speed by 30% for 10 seconds. Attacking an enemy with negative enemy speed reduced by 10% for 10 seconds. So she is on our number 7 list. If she would have given more damage by her normal attacks or if her skills would have inflicted the enemy for a few more seconds, she would be really broken and should have been higher rank on our list. In at number 6, we have Red Defender Sugar. 
She has a skill that can knock back the enemy and the other skill is a counter. The knockback skill is a long range area attack which can need for a stagger for a set period of time. And the other skill that is counter skill is a mid range area attack. If the counter succeeds that means if enemy attack with a set period of time, D is a mid range area attack with a chance to inflict toy. That means enemy will become a toy. If the counter fails, if the enemy does not attack within set period of times, it is a close range area attack. And if the enemy is in range, it inflicts the enemy with toy. In toy state, enemy can move but cannot perform any action. Controls will be inverted. They will not be able to jump off high places. No longer able to interfere in the treasure area. If they are on the treasure area, you can still take the treasure. If Sugar gets scared or stunned like she got stunned on anime, the inflicted toy state character will be back to normal. She has a trait if enemy is attacking her, 5% chance to inflict toy for 8 seconds. She even recovers HP by 15% for one time when enough damage is taken from an enemy to KO character. Receiving percentage damage including from status effect from an enemy reduces the cooldown time of scale to by 2% and recover HP by 4%. When strength is more than 50% reduce damage received by 30%. When you succeed in knockbacking an enemy, defense boosts you by 30% for 20 seconds and recover HP by 15%. When enemies are inflicted with toy, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 30%. She is really OP and tanky defender and could have been on a higher rank if skill 1 would have given more damage to the enemy. At the halfway point in a countdown, X Pick Mom takes the number 5 spot. The X character that fell off really bad from the last few metas. Some people are not gonna agree with me that she shouldn't be on number 5, but we still gave her number 5 spot cause you know X is a X. Her skill 1 give it to me puts the character in electrified state, a mid range area attack with a chance to inflict shock effect. And many times you still get shocked when you are using your skill from far away and she is using this skill. At this skill she becomes temporarily invincible after use. This electrified state will be removed after a certain period of time or a certain amount of damage is received. And if you are the enemy and you get shocked that effect is also gone after a few seconds. How this skill is good? If you are out of the treasure area she just uses this skill and shocks you and then takes the flag. So that can be really clutched or last 30 seconds or 60 seconds or she can shock you and go to the other flag area. Her speed is also really fast cause she is a runner. Second skill Ikoku Sovereignty. This skill is a charge skill used as a combo after using that shock skill. The skill damage is really good but still not enough. When 60 seconds or less remaining inflict self with hunger pangs and speed boosted by 20%. When you collect a power up item Nilfire damage inflicted by hunger pangs effect for 30 seconds. Inflicted with electrify Nilfire shock. Your strength is more than 70%, boost capture speed by 50%, capture the treasure, recover HP by 30% and reduce the cooldown time of scale to by 20%. Your strength is more than 70%, reduce damage received by 30% and reduce damage received from defenders by 20%. So total of 50% damage reduced by defenders. Skill 1 and skill 2 can be used one more way if the enemy is on a treasure area, just shock the enemy and use your skill to knock back the enemy out of the treasure area and just take the flag and make your team win. My main reason for putting her on number 5 cause she is an X character plus this is a blue meta so she might be useful. But she fell off really bad that's why she is on number 5 not on a higher rank. Coming in at number 4, whole kick either and Nami. Both skills are good, could have been better if these skills would be long range. Skill 1 let's go Zeus, keep on following around whole kick either and Nami. It has an area attack with a chance to inflict shock. It gets disappeared if skill 2 is used or after a certain amount of time passes. During this skill, she will nearly fire stagger also for a set period of time. Second skill, Zeus Breeze Tempo. This skill could have been better if it would be long range. Mid range area attack with a chance to inflict shock. It inflicts the enemy from shock for a set period of time. Removed after a certain period of time, nearly fire stagger for a set period of time. Acquire speed debuff effect at level 5. Her traits are also good, attacking an enemy 5% chance to inflict shock for 3 seconds. Using skill 1, create a trait area for 10 seconds. So if your team is good, she is really broken. When you or an ally enters a trait area of skill 1, recovers HP by 25%. When you or an ally is inside your skill 1 trait area, removes a flame and removes incinerate. So you and your team become good against Exakainu. Area around your capture treasure, reduce damage received by 30% and reduce damage received from attackers by 20%. Forming a normal attack, increase attack of skill by 10% up to max of 100%. But resets when skill 2 is used or character is KO'd. This character has one more plus point, normal attack chase the enemy. So before going for the enemy, just keep on using your normal attacks. Your skill gets charged to 100%. Enemies are inflicted with shock, reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 by 10% and attack boosted by 30% for 10 seconds. Strength is more than 50%, reduce damage received by 30%. So when you are in your capture treasure and your strength is more than 50% and an attacker comes, it reduces damage received by 80%. So she is on our number 4th spot, could have been better if skill 2 would be long range. 
she could have been a number third but she supports teammates and you know how teammates are other top three characters do everything by themselves on the match if your place was attack plus defense she could be your number three on your list before going for our top three here are some honorable mention that we think are worth using we will go through this quickly in a alphabetical order green defender baby five blue attacker boa hancock green runner carrot red attacker koala blue attacker kiku red runner vv and karo duo now back to the countdown coming in at number three most annoying pure defender anias lobby nick robin while using skill one when tf yours her hp will be recovered reduce damage received from enemies while the skill button is held down reduces chances of getting pushed away when attacked by enemy while the skill is active the skill ends after a certain period of time or when the skill button is released nearly five staggered for a set period of time this is the main skill that makes her most annoying pure defender Skill to long range area attack with an effect that lowers the enemy attack, plus knockback effect and a chance to inflict confuse. Nearly 5 staggered for a set period of time, acquires attack debuff effect at level 5. She is a pure defender, even annoying for X characters. When you or an ally from your team KO an enemy, recover HP by 10%. You or your ally from your team capture the treasure, attack boosted by 30% for 20 seconds. Area around your capture treasure, reduce damage received by 30%. Attacked by an enemy, 100% chance to reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 by 5% and increase defense by 5%. Increases up to 70% but resets once killed. When your allies are not near the treasure area, 1 HP will be left even if killed by the enemy. Ineffective if HP is exactly 1. Attacking an enemy with skill 2, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 30% and increases the cooldown time of the enemy's skill by 20%. If skill 2 attack or normal attack damage would be more, she would be on number 1 for sure. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number 2, most annoying and best type of runner, Miss Golden Week. Both skills are really good, skill 1 is a mid-range area attack with a chance to inflict calm. That stops enemy from doing any attacks or skills. Skill 2 becomes temporarily invincible, no one can even touch her. Her character traits are really good too, dealing damage on the first hit of the normal attack combo reduces enemy defense by 10% for 20 seconds. Dealing damage on the second hit of normal attack combo reduces enemy's attack by 10% for 20 seconds. Dealing damage on the third hit of a normal attack combo reduces enemy speed by 10% for 20 seconds. Speed, attack and defense everything will be reduced for 10 seconds if she succeeds in dealing normal attack combo 3 times. Your strength is more than 80%, boost capture speed by 50%. Using skill 2 speed boosted by 20% for 10 seconds. Your team has less treasure secured, boost the cooldown direction speed of skill 2 by 50%. Enemies are inflicted with calm, reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 by 20% and recover HP by 15%. So if the enemies are inflicted with calm, and you have less treasure, boost the cooldown direction speed of skill 2 by 70%. So she is really, really OP on this meta, but only one thing that stops her from taking the first spot is, after using skill 2, there is a few seconds gap to use that skill 2 again. On the last 30 seconds or 60 seconds, she can be stopped from taking the flag or even can die. In the top spot, coming in at number 1, the new X runner Yamato. Both skills are really, really good, one skill is charge skill and the other one is counter. If you succeed in charge skill, you will unleash a different attack, need you fire second for a set period of time. If not charged, she will still do a long range attack, plus increase damage deed when your HP is below a certain amount. If charged, increase own attack, long range charge attack with a knockback effect. If counter succeeds, she will increase own defense, plus long range area attack with a knockback effect. Increase damage deed when your HP is below a certain amount. Counter faced, enemy does not attack within a set period of time, deals a long range area attack. Increase damage deed when your HP is below a certain amount. And she becomes temporarily invincible after use. I think she is the only character in the game right now that has counter and a charge skill. While you are capturing treasure 1, HP will be left even if KO'd by enemy. While you are capturing treasure, resist stagger and being down. Only knockback skills or some status effect skills can stop her. Any other skills or normal attacks will not stop her from taking the flag. Strength is more than 70%, boost capture speed by 50%. Receiving percentage damage including from status effect from an enemy recover HP by 60%. For example, getting damage by Exekainu. Your team has more treasure secured, boost the cooldown direction speed of scale 2 by 50% and increase damage deed by 30%. After receiving damage from an enemy which is more than 50% of your max HP, reduces damage received by 30%. Your strength is more than 70%, reduce damage received by 30% and reduce damage received from attackers by 20%. So if she is getting damage by attackers when her strength is more than 70%, she reduces damage by 50%. When you capture treasure, recover HP by 30% and reduce the cooldown time of scale 2 by 20%. The reason for being on top on our list is because most of the enemies can't stop her when she's taking the flag. So at last 30 or 60 seconds she's really clutch and comes handy. Thanks for watching, give this video a thumbs up. Of all the current waifus in OPBR, which ones are your favorite? Let us know in the comments. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe and put the bell so you get updated about the new videos of One Piece Bounty Rush.